Now we are going to see how to use a reducible to exact method to solve a differential equation. Let's say our given differential equation is xy cubed plus y dx plus 2 into x squared y squared plus x plus y raised to the power 4 dy is equals to 0. Like in the exact method, we here to have two different terms, one term with dx and another with dy. Let's call the term with dx m. So m would be x y cubed plus y. Let's call the term with dy n. So n would be 2 into x square y square plus x plus y raised to the power 4. Now we partially differentiate m and n with y and x respectively. Upon differentiating m, partially differentiating m with respect to y, we get 3xy square plus 1. And by partially differentiating n with respect to x, we get 2 into 2xy square plus 1. Since we know for solving an exact equation, partial differential of m with respect to y should be equal to partial differential of n with respect to x. But here this is not the case. Partial differential of m and partial differential of n are both different. This tells us that this equation cannot be solved by exact alone we need to use reducible to exact method to solve this equation. Now reducible to exact method has two rules. Rule number one that says partial differential of m with respect to y minus partial differential of n with respect to x divided by the term n should give me a function of x alone in which there is no y only variable of x. And rule number two suggests that partial differential of n with respect to x minus partial differential of m with respect to y divided by the term m should give me a function of y alone. Now we use these two rules to solve our differential equation. Now first I'll use the first rule to check if I get a function with x variable alone. So rule number one gives me minus xy square minus one divided by two into x square y square plus x plus y raised to the power four. As you can see, this function is not in terms of x alone and it cannot be further simplified. So our rule number one fails. So we move on to rule number two. Rule number two says partial differential of n with respect to x minus partial differential of m with respect to y whole divided by m should give me a function in terms of y. So let's see. So rule two brings us to xy squared plus 1 whole divided by xy cubed plus y. Now if we take a common in the denominator we get 1 upon y which means we get a function with y variable. So this means our rule 2 is satisfied and now we use our function to find out the integrating factor for the equation. So our integrating factor would be e raised to the power integral of a function with variable y dy. The function with variable y would be our function that we find, found out by rule 2. If rule 1 would have been a success, our integral integrating factor would have become e raised to the power integral of fx dx but since our rule 2 was a success we'll use e raised to the power integral of fy dy 
This gives us y as the integrating factor. The integrating factor is a factor missing from the equation that doesn't allow the original differential equation to be solved with the exact method. Now we take this integrating factor and multiply it with the whole equation to get a new equation which would be x y raised to the power 4 plus y squared dx plus 2 into x squared y cubed plus x y plus y raised to the power 5 dy is equals to 0. Now this is our equation which is reduced to, ex to be solved with exact. Now this equation should easily be solved by exact. Let's see. Here m would become and n would be for them to be solvable by exact partial differential of m with respect to y should be equal to partial differential of n with respect to x so partial differential of m with respect to y is equals to 4xy cubed plus 2y and partial differential of n would be 4xy cubed plus 2y now since partial differential of m with respect to y is equal to partial differential of n with respect to x this equation is now solvable by exact method Solving the equation with the exact method will give me the answer that is x squared into y raised to the power 4 whole divided by 2 plus xy squared plus y raised to the power 6 divided by 3 is equals to c, a constant.